Hello, people of the world beyond. This is Pixel by Pixel, and we are playing SimCity 5 with Cities of Tomorrow Expansion Pack. I know I haven't uploaded this in a while, but I just haven't, honestly. I had to take a little break, start up the new Terraria to Hell and Back channel. If you haven't seen that, check it out. I'll put a big annotation right in the middle of the screen, hopefully, if I don't forget, because I have the worst memory in the world. Anyway, we need to get this started. So, let's pull back up to triple speed. And... Last time, we put down a mega tower and an academy. And holy frick, it was a big episode last time. So how about, they want a research project. We have a lot of money. We have a ton of money. Uh, no, they actually want control net flow, which we will totally do. Our main mission now is definitely attracting high wealth workers. High wealth workers is our main priority. And to deal with high wealth workers, we have to deal with this medium wealth demand first so that we can start to maximize and high wealth all these houses around here so that we do everything correctly. Alright, garbage. The earth can't take our garbage anymore, Mayor. We need to clean up our act. Pollution is in, at record levels. I will actually do that because that gives you a crap ton, an absolute crap ton of money, and it's not hard to squeeze in. They want a house of worship, which I will actually do as well. We can do that right now. House of worship, worship, worship. It's under culture, and you go to worship. And what should we plop down? Oh, this is the hard part. So we have a temple. A modern temple. Modern temple looks pretty cool, actually. A mosque and a church. Modern Temple looks so amazing. We're doing the modern, tem modern Temple. And we can honestly just squeeze it in. No, that's actually where some one of the annexes is going to go. Uh, actually, we could probably squeeze one in here. Yes, right. That, I guess. I have set crap for everything. So how, so I'm actually going to make a new road. What density is this? Medium. Not bad. Alright, well we just got that challenge done very easily! Okay. We're gonna do that. Alright, and then we can put our modern temple over there. Pew! There we go, everybody's getting happier because they now have a house of worship to do. Let's check for any abandoned buildings. Nope. And now we're going to get started with high wealth workers, which means a medium wealth apartment building. Let's see if we have enough to sustain it. Power is a problem. Big problem. Negative 2.2 .2 megawatt deficit. We don't really have enough water, necessarily, to start putting down a nuclear power plant, which I personally don't want to do just yet. If anything, I want to make it a nuclear power plant level on the mega tower. So, we could either put some new power stuff in, we could start up a backup wind farm, which could be useful, but I don't think winds are... Oh, look! No, we got a 57.8 megawatt excess. Who am I joking? I guess that was only at night, but I, I think we'll be okay for now. So, apartment level level 2. We're going to do this. And when that goes on, I just snapped in case you didn't hear it because I'm horrible at snapping. Everything's just going to fall into place and then we can then put down high wealth buildings, parks all around, and make high wealth apartment buildings to help out with the production and advancement of our academy. So let's start the construction on this. And then what I like to do is just to put a park there just to add on some profit and some happiness, really. Alright. So, people are dying for an academy research. Alright. So, sewage sanitizer I don't like. I'm just gonna say that right now, I do not enjoy the sewage sanitizer because you could put all eight modules on it costs over 7,000 control net, which is ridiculous. 
as well as the fact that it doesn't actually hold as much as the pumping station does. See which pumping station does. So we're just going to go for the Academy Level 2 upgrade. And that'll keep us busy. How's everything else doing? So we got Waste Disposal, Fire Department. Wow. Alright. Uh, Health and Police. Wow! Everything is working well. Education. They want classrooms? We'll give them classrooms. Aw, they're playing Dr. Goose. <laughs> I love Dr. Goose. They're like flapping their arms. They're being birdies. I want to see them play a game of Dr. Goose. Play Dr. Goose. That's pretty cool. I like that. Okay. And because I want more people playing Dr. Goose, we're going to give them a top floor classroom. Boom. Okay. They're on fire. They're filming it. Look at that quality. They went away. That was quick. Okay. Apartment level's maxed out. Now our apart residential demand is perfect. Now there's an unemployment crisis, which is a bad thing. Bad, 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 bad thing. And look, I believe that people are starting to be kicked out. Building fire. Oh. Not enough workers, not enough workers. But there's an unemployment crisis. There is an unemployment crisis, actually. So we're gonna zone in. So commercial here and here. And some right here. And that should help out with some of the demand. So now, now that we got that done, and we got less medium wealth somehow. Oh, they probably want like something profitable. Yeah. Mall. No thanks. Actually Wow, two in a row. Crap. Yes, 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 yes. I will definitely do that. Okay. So Actually, a mall level could be a very good idea to get that medium wealth commercial demand down. Because getting medium wealth all throughout the ground is going to be hard to do. Although, here's a problem with this. Medium wealth apartment levels are hard to provide for, but the demand for residential just gets so high that you end up putting down medium with apartment levels anyway so how about we'll add it on a mall level medium wealth it looks pretty freaking cool and we'll start construction and then we're going to start plopping down some high wealth parks okay so parks plaza we don't want Millennium Plazas. They're ridiculous. This whole place over here, however, is not futurized whatsoever. So we are actually going to futurize this area. Beautifully. And then we are going to high wealthanize every aspect of this. Let's go for a reflecting pool park right here and then we'll start expanding okay all this very good stuff and look at this everything's looking so much better and boom now we got a lot more high wealth, which should be attracted over to this academy. See, look, we're already getting more high wealth people, but I think that's just because of principle. Anyway. Alright, so we already got that profit thing, which I think is quite ridiculous. Alright. Now they want a medium wealth apartment level, which we'll definitely give to them. We're just... Piling everything in there. I clapped. I didn't snap. Oh, by the way! Offline is here, which is amazing. I quite enjoy that. So, yeah, make sure you do that. That's really cool. I love offline. You could just do whatever you want, really. Okay. 
or industrial, it's very demanded. And we'll pop it down to where we can always keep it. Residential is just very high on high wealth. Which I think is okay, because we are getting enough high wealth places over here. Oh, did I just... I did very bad things. <laughs> I made high wealth commercials while a lot of it, but a lot of... I want apartments too, like, no, no, that no. All this stuff over here? Is I want to meet you most? Okay, maybe I did screw up a bit. Okay, I screwed up a bit, but whatever, we'll be okay. Inexpensive apartments. Look at this! We're getting so much stuff. And look! City Hall upgrade! Okay, new department! This is going to be fun! So we have utilities, transportation, so we can have tourism, which can screw you over, finance, no education. Education is such a good thing to have, because then we can start researching a lot of good stuff. And with a city with a slight amount of tourism in it, it can attract many place things to your school. So we're actually going to pop that down right here. And we now have a Department of Education. Wow. That was a lot of things. Okay. Everything's going well. So... 77%. That's a really good approval raving, rating, actually. Raving? Approval raving. Definitely. How many people are going? Oh, actually, a lot of people are going. Never mind. I should not say that. Okay. So... We have everything just working perfectly. Honestly. We're like Queen, because you can't stop me now. Because I'm having such a good time. I'm having a ball. Okay. Garbage is getting a bit piled up, but we'll be okay for now. Hey, look at that. That's good. Alright. School is an issue now. We just went down seven people to make everything just screwed up. So we are going to add on two more as well as some bus depots. And boom, now we're maxed out for the grade school. Everything possible. Okay. So our college. We can actually just say we want to do it, and then we'll unlock the Arcology Great Works and actually just get $5,000. It's really just an ongoing thing. Recycling Center. This is where the big money comes in. And I want to add this, actually. Where is it? Disposal. Okay. It's only $111,000, which we have more than enough money for. And this will make it and this will keep up with our education that we are going to do for like a university which is amazing it's good for tourism as well and then we can start researching great works and then everything will be perfect so and then you can also use it for great works so we are going to outstretch a road out on this medium dead city street farther away That bar works. And waste disposal. Recycling center. Pop it! Beautiful! That's gonna hire people and we're gonna lose some money. Just $700 though. So what it's going to do is it's gonna create plastic and alloy and metals. We could choose what we run it to reclaim. So we can plop down community college or high school. Perfect. We could choose what we wanted to reclaim after. It takes a bit, but people will get the idea and they'll be like, oh, we have to start putting out garbage cans for recyclables. And so they'll start putting out recycling bins and we'll start getting this. The higher our population goes, the more recyclables we get, which means that the more money we get as well. And we can export this and make mon much, 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 much money. Or 
we can use this for great works projects and I will show you what great works are so we have none approved right now a solar farm we have to research in the university so we can make basically all these things inside of recycling center so plastic and alloy are already two of the resources that are natural you are you already get them from the recycling center no matter what and the processors you can get for making a processor factory which I believe takes plastic and alloy and makes those processors so it's basically these two combined makes that and then you can ship those out inside of a processor factory and they make more money than these two combined which is great uh, this one will be going for not really solar farm isn't really great international airport this is a good one not many people use this so what it does is it's basically a tourist thing as well as it accepts freight and ships it so it's good for shipping cities and for tourism cities regions anything really so you need metal which you can reclaim out of which you can reclaim crude oil that's one thing you cannot get with the recycling center which we shouldn't go for because I believe there is nowhere on this island where we could have enough oil to actually sustain an international airport. Space Center. I don't like Space Center. It takes a lot of tourism, which helps a lot of tourism cities. Computers out. Computers and alloy come, can come from the recycling center, but again, fuel comes from either. You can also import things, too, which could be useful, actually. We might want to import if we want an international airport or a space center. But right now, we're leading towards an arcology, which takes all the things that you can get from the, well, recycling center, and you can make an arcology. So this will take metal and alloy, and the processors are used to make TVs. Which is perfect. Honestly, it's so perfect. So that's how great works work, and you'll be like exporting all your stuff from the city. So since the recycling center is up, we're going to make up a trade department. Well, there's an electronics factory. The trade department, you just put, let's per se, right here. And you put on lots. So for ours, I will put on a plastic lot. We'll just do two plastic rot lots right now. And then we can manage mo lo local market deliveries. And we can choose to export plastic, which is us $29,321 every time that we export 1,000 crates of plastic. So for every shipment, eventually you'll be able to do it about every maybe even month. Sometimes even twice per month. And it's perfect and you get lots of money for it. Processors, it's about $80,000, which is pure genius. Alright, so we done a lot this episode. Uh, Academy level 2 is 22%. We got some high wealth workers working there even more. Put on a mall level, which is fully packed out, actually, which is quite surprising. But I love it. Our Mega Tower is making us tons of money. Recycling center plopped, which we'll be actually able to use, and I taught you guys all about how to use that and what it can be used for. Tower is not an issue. Everything is working well. We upgraded City Hall and and the House of Worship. Let's not forget that. Everything is working well, and I love that. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed the content and you are new to the channel, hit that like button and that subscribe subscribe button. I would love to see you guys over on my Twitter. Make sure you like and follow that crap. So we'll see you guys at another time. Elvi Aderci.